This tour of the client deployment wizard will walk you through the simple steps required to install the Endpoint Protection Client. To begin deployment, go to the home page of the Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager. From the Common Tasks menu in the upper right hand corner, choose Install Protection Client to Computers. You can also begin by going to the Clients tab and clicking the Add a Client link under the Tasks list. This wizard helps you install the protection client to computers at your company. You can choose either a new package deployment or an existing package deployment. A new package deployment lets you select packages from the server and specify client group and features. An existing package deployment lets you choose from previously exported packages that are located on your hard drive. Once you've selected your deployment type, click Next to continue. The next step allows you to select your client settings. Choose whether you want to deploy to a Windows computer or a Mac. Select the group in which you'd like to deploy the client. Then, select the protection technologies that you want to deploy. Install the protection features based on the types of computers you're deploying to. Select the install settings you'd like to use. If you'd like to use settings other than the default, you can do that by adding additional client install settings from the Install Packages section under the Admin tab. Choose All Content to provide maximum security immediately following installation. The next step requires you to choose your preferred installation method. Symantec Endpoint Protection provides several client installation methods, consisting of Web Link and Email, Remote Push Installation, or Save Package. Prior to installing the client, ensure that existing third-party security software has been uninstalled. The web link and email installation is the recommended method to deploy clients. This method sends client software download instructions via email to the users on your network. When using the web link and email notification installation, consider these pre-installation steps before you deploy the client. Ensure that the manager email settings are properly configured in the Admin tab under Server Properties, and ensure that users are able to connect to the web link in the email sent by the management server and have permissions to install the software. After you select the web link and email notification installation, enter the email addresses of all the users who should receive the notification. You can also send an email to yourself and then forward it from your mailbox to other users on the network. You can use the default message provided or customize your own. The administrator will get an email from the management server as soon as all emails to the end users have been successfully sent. This can take a few minutes as the management server has to package and publish the client software before sending the email. The remote push installation provides the ability for administrators to push and install the client software to computers on the network from the console. Consider these pre-installation steps before you deploy the client. Ensure that the computers can be accessed via the network, and ensure that you have administrator credentials for the computers you wish to deploy to. This installation method is only available for Windows clients. In a remote push installation, you need to select the computers targeted for installation. Select which computers you wish to deploy the client to by browsing your network tree, or searching for computers by clicking on the Search Network tab. If you decide to search the network, click on Find Computers. You can search by IP address range or by specific computer names. Once you've selected the computers, you'll be prompted to enter the administrative credentials so the management server can log into the client machines. Under the heading Install Protection Client On, you'll see the computer names you've selected. The Client Install Wizard attempts to connect to each computer and download the client software. Once it's able to successfully copy the client software onto the endpoint and start the install process, it'll report success. The Save Package installation provides the ability to create a single executable or have the installation files placed into a folder where they can be packaged using third-party packaging tools. These packages can then be deployed to computers and executed manually, 
or deployed through logon scripts, Active Directory GPOs, or third-party computer deployment tools. Select the folder you wish to save the package to and click Next. Verify Package Installation Configuration and select Next. The custom install files will be created in the selected folder. When the client has been successfully installed, it will appear under its respective group in the Management Console in the Computers tab.